Hello and welcome. A few years ago, I did a video on some ultra lightweight carbon fiber instrument stands that I'd received from a company called Woodwind Design based out of the Netherlands. Now these stands are fantastic and I still use them to this day. The stands that I received for trumpet, piccolo trumpet and flugelhorn together way less than one trumpet mouthpiece. So there's some uh, a link to the video that I did on that is down in the video description below. The man behind this company reached out to me a little while ago because he has made some rather interesting new accessories including a carbon fiber microphone stand, a carbon fiber tablet holder, a music stand and some of the other various holders and things that you may find useful. Uh, so this is the main part of the uh, of this sort of modular system. The main part of the weight is in this Delrin base, which has got a number of holes drilled through to it uh, to accept the various carbon fiber tubes. This is what the whole thing looks like collapsed. Um, it's an interesting design. We've got nested carbon fiber tubes. This part at the top is uh, specifically designed to mate with the music stand so you put the music stand on top and you have you know the music part of it quite a nice feature is that it's got a hole here for a tablet if you wanted to put a power cable or a power bank cable through the bottom of that that's quite uh, useful it's got a whole bunch of holes to try and reduce the air resistance now you may look at this and wondering how on earth is this going to stand up well the legs for this are nestled inside these carbon fiber tubes very similar to the, to the design of the trombone stand, we have uh, four nested carbon fiber tubes. Each of these are slightly smaller than the other and are designed to connect to the bottom of the Delrin holder here. This is what the bottom looks like once you've got the tubes inside and that is our base. Uh, and so this sits in on the ground and it gives it reasonable stability. One of the common problems with portable extending music stands is that they don't often extend very high. If you're sitting down this isn't a problem but if you're wanting to play and perform standing up you often end up with a music stand that you're having to look down to see. If you're playing an instrument where you're trying to play it up upright such as a trombone or something you want a stand that's near your face height. This carbon fiber music stand goes higher than any other stand I have come across before and that is because the main part here uh, has got four telescopic carbon fiber tubes. You've got the base one and then you grab the second segment and you can extend that up to here. So that's the second segment that we've moved and uh, now we can go to the third segment which we can put up to about there and then the final segment which we can extend uh, out of frame to about there. If I was to stand up the top of this music stand would come to about my nose and I'm six foot two for reference. Once we've got it up there we can then add something like this which then enables us to clip the uh, music deck to the top. So we could put this up all the way up here. One of the downsides with this particular design is the way that the friction fit uh, holds the uh, tubes in place. Each of the sections has a slot, has four slots in the top of it and those slots are compressed against the tube that comes out of it uh, by these rubber o-rings. These rubber o-rings are pretty tight and they're quite stiff to move and so if you do what I've done and you've pulled the tube out too far you then have to move all of these o-rings down which is, requires a reasonable amount of strength mm and then put the rest of the tube back in and do the o-rings back up. It's something that you'll probably invariably have to end up doing but it's not something that you want to do particularly frequently because it requires a reasonable amount of finger strength. One of the cool things about this system is that you can change the way that you use it depending on what you need to do. It's currently set up with the music deck on it and using it as a music stand but we can take this off and put a microphone holder in its place. If you don't want to use this as an upright microphone holder, then you don't need to. We could instead put this boom on it and have a telescopic microphone holder. At the end of this is a thread, so we can take the microphone holder and put that on at the end of the tube. Now one of the thoughts that you might have is that this is going to cause the system to overbalance. And yes, it potentially would, depending on how far you have this telescopic tube extending. There is a way around that and 
this is where I think perhaps one of the elegance, uh, the elegant elements of the system falls apart because the way that you counterbalance the system uh, certainly is a little bit inelegant. You take this tube, you stick it in the bottom of the uh, Delrin stand, and then you take this weighted bag and you plop that on the end. That's a fair amount of mass here, I don't know, it's half a kilogram, a kilogram, something like that. And that provides the counterbalance for the microphone boom attachment at the other end. It functions, it's a bit of an odd design, but it undoubtedly works. Um, it's just a little bit inelegant. I guess it's just one of the prices that you pay for having something so light made out of carbon fiber. The last use case that I'll go through is as a tablet holder. So we take out the microphone or the music deck attachment and we've got this. We've got these two little holders. You can put your tablet or a phone or some or a book even or just anything you like between these. You change the distance between them, screw them in place, and you've got something to hold your tablet. If you don't want it in landscape orientation, then you can twist this whole thing, have it in portrait, and away you go. There are a couple of other accessories that you can get with this system, one of which is this, which is a tray. It's got four different mounting holes. Each of these holes are a different size and they mate up with the different sizes of the tubes that you can use. So you could have it in this top tube by threading it through one of the small holes, or you could have it on one of the lower tubes by threading it through one of the big holes. In addition to that, there is this. Uh, this is not something I think I would ever use, but apparently this is designed for a cup of water, and you use it to soak your reeds. Now, not being a, a reed player, it's not something that I would ever use, but again, it's got the four differently sized holes, so you can put it wherever on the stand that you want. Um, and that would be useful for anyone who needs to have a cup of water on their stand for some reason. That's an overview of the system and the sort of options and things that you can get for it. I really like the fact that it is designed to meet as many use cases as possible. You've got your tablet stand, your music stand, you've got your microphone holder, you've got a tray, you've got things that will meet most requirements. The only real downside from the system from a design perspective is the fact that it is so light. If you are wanting to use this outdoors in a moderately windy environment, then you're going to want to keep you know, the edge of one of your feet on the stand or you're going to want to use that counterweight just to prevent the thing from falling over. The fact there are holes throughout the music deck means that it's not going to be as susceptible to wind as something that doesn't have any holes through it, but still uh, that's something that you need to think about when it makes, if you're deciding whether or not to invest your money in something like this. Speaking of money, this is not a cheap system. Carbon fiber is very strong, it's very light, it is not cheap. If you were to buy all this system and all the accessories I've demonstrated today, you are going to be spending several hundred euros. Uh, presumably though, the people that will invest this will probably want only a music stand or maybe a music stand and the tablet holder. You won't necessarily want all of the accessories, but even still, it is not a cheap system. If you ignore the cost element, my only real criticism about the system uh, it pertains to some of the build quality elements, particularly for the Delrin accessories. Some of these holes are not drilled very well. Um, some of the finishing around them leaves a little bit to be desired, and I'll show you what I mean. If we take this hole here, trying to deburr the edge of a hole uh, when the cavity is on an angle is quite difficult to do. And uh, some of the edges are a little bit, they're not as, they're not as clean as they could be. Uh, now I presume that's just a reflection of how difficult it is to do and the material that you're using here. Uh, but that's literally about the only thing that I can think of as a criticism of the system, is that some of the Delrin accessories, they're not, they're not finished as nicely as they could be. So I hope you've enjoyed having this look at this modular music stand uh, arrangement. If you've got any questions or anything you'd like to know, then please put them in the comments down below. A link to where, uh, the website where you can have a look at more details and the pricing for this will also be in the link in the video description. Thank you very much for watching.